ITIET NCERT presents a story The blue eyed doll Chacha got Sharon for Juhi from England Juhi thought Sharon was the most beautiful doll in the whole world. She couldn't stop looking at her blue eyes with long curling brown lashes, cherry red lips, golden hair and white skin in wonder. And her clothes? Her pink and white pinafore was embroidered with tiny daisies. The buttons were shaped like roses. Her balloon sleeves were edged with lace. She wore long white socks and black leather shoes with buckles. Yes, buckles. Juhi was under Sharon's spell. She didn't take her out of her box for 2 days. Charming, isn't she? Grinned Chacha. Juhi's expression said it all. Sharon slept with Juhi at night. She went to school with her, hidden in her bag. She sat on her lap at meal times. It's okay, said her mother. With Sharon there, Juhi will not drop crumbs off the table. Then Juhi fell ill. Her fever raged. They covered her with two quilts. but her little body shivered and shook she lost 3 kilograms it's malaria said the doctor and gave her bitter quinine medicine to eat all through those terrible 3 weeks sharon snuggled close to juhi not for a moment did she leave her side Juhi seems to love this stupid English doll more than she loves us," grunted Juhi's grandfather. "Times are changing. To get attached to something foreign is stupidity." "Uh, uh, Sharon helped Juhi get well, Bauji," murmured Juhi's mother. "My foot. It was the quinine," grandfather retorted. His word was law in the house. Just then, Vikram, Juhi's brother, came leaping in. They're coming! They're coming! I can see them, Baba. Who can you see? Asked Juhi. Talk to the point, Vikram. Ordered his grandfather. Who can you see? Gandhi ji and his followers. Replied Vikram. Every building in our complex is lighting a huge bonfire outside, in which they are going to throw all their British goods. Everything made in England will be thrown into the fire. They are shouting India for the Indians and say yes to Swadeshi, to Khadi, to anything and everything made in India. Yes. I remember hearing Gandhi ji's speech on the radio asking us to boycott British goods. Cotton grown here is sent to Lancashire in England to be made into hosiery to provide jobs for the English and then it is sold back to us at a very high cost said Juhi's grandfather You are right I read it in the Tribune added Juhi's father India for the Indians yelled Vikram dancing around the table Our bonfire will be the highest It will help us win freedom from the British. Juhi's grandfather took off his coat. It was a beautifully tailored coat made in England by an expert tailor. The material was soft and comfortable. In fact, it was hard to imagine Baba without it. For the bonfire, he said with stoicism. Juhi's mother gave her imported chiffon sari. Her father, his best shirt and two pants, and her brother, his tennis racket. Even the servant sacrificed a torch and a battery cell that had the label "Made in England." 
No sacrifice is too big in our fight for freedom, said Baba. And Juhi? She was not to be seen. She's hiding, shouted Vikram. She doesn't want to part with her doll, guessed her father. She will have to, shouted Vikram. Sharon's made in England, and she's as English as English can be. She, she's just a child, pleaded her mother. Let her be. She's five, said Baba angrily. Sumitha next door is only four years old. She threw a gollywog and a toy train into the fire. Don't spoil Juhi. Teach her the meaning of sacrifice. Yes, teach her, chimed Juhi's father and brother together. Mahatma Gandhi, Zindabad! Videshi kapro ka! Bahishkar karo! Videshi kapro ka! The door burst open. A horde of kids rushed in. Where's Juhi? We've come to see her throw that English doll into the fire. Hurry! Gandhiji is almost here. We can't seem to find her, said Juhi's mother, helplessly. We'll find her. We'll look under the bed, in the cupboard, in the attic, and in the huge wooden chest of drawers. We'll hunt her out, and we'll force her to throw Sharon into the fire, shouted the kids. You won't need to do that. The door of the hall opened. Juhi stood there clutching Sharon. Sharon? But Sharon didn't look like Sharon. What have you done to Sharon? Screamed Juhi's mother. Sharon's beautiful dress had been removed. Instead, she wore a torn piece of cloth draped around her like a sari. Thick kajal lined her blue eyes. A bindi was stuck on her forehead and sindoor on her blonde hair. Blonde? Well, it had been painted black in patches. You can take her dress, her socks, her shoes, her blouse. You can burn them all if you want. I don't care. But I won't let you burn my friend. Besides, she's not English anymore. She's Indian. She's Sharanya, not Sharon. What? Her grandfather's mouth fell open in horror. The girl's gone mad, said her father. Sharon's my friend and will always be. When my teacher scolds me, she cries with me and comforts me. When I was sick, she loved me and looked after me. If you want her to burn, go ahead. I'll jump in with her too. No, child, you don't need to do that, said a gentle voice. Love has no barriers. It was the Mahatma who had entered their home through the open door. Love is not confined by country, class, creed or religion. It flows. And he hugged both Juhi and her little doll ever so tenderly. The Blue-Eyed Doll You were just listening to this story. Author of the story, Kumkum Kum Somani Narrated by Jitendra Ram Prakash Production Controller, Prabhu Dayal Khattar Sound Recordist, Amita Bhatti Assistance in Production Dao Dayal Chaturvedi 
प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड प्रेजेंटेड बाय वंदना अरिमर्दन